Hey everybody, I want to show you how to make a cheap solar combiner box. I've noticed that Renology and Empower and Windy Nation sell some pretty nice combiner boxes, but they're very expensive and then you've got to deal with DC breakers and those aren't cheap. So I'm going to show you how I built one cheap. I've got, I think, $30 in this. So some stuff I had laying around, but it shows you how to do it. So I've labeled the outside and I refuse to buy a label maker and this will be outside so the UV will eat this writing up. What I did, I had a can of spray paint which was clear coat that I had laying around. So once I got done writing it, put the clear coat on there and it's UV so it's going to last a while. These are seal tight connectors. They're half inch. I can actually get four wires. I'll be running four wires into here just like that. So I'll have to combine some of them up. That saved me a little bit of money. You'll notice it's mounted on Unistrut. And I'm going to be mounting this directly to the roof using self-tapping screws. I'll be using RV self-leveling caulk that's used to patch or repair RV roofs. It's self-leveling. It's very sticky and it's UV rated. It'll last a long time. What I do is I put it on the roof. Then I put the box down on it caulk up where I'm going to drill it, drill it, and then I'll caulk it up one more time, and I've not had one leak yet. So I'll open up the box and show you what I've done here. Take the cover off. If you notice real quick, it looks a little junky, but what's going on in here, I'm going to use the high-tech pointer here. This is the positive, that's the negative, and that's a ground. Always have a ground. These are ground bars that you can buy in the breaker section of Lowe's, Buy them on eBay, buy them on Amazon. So here's the positive. If you notice right here, these are automotive fuses. That's about as cheap as you can get. So right here, I've got them labeled. There's for panel four, panel one, etc. So I have I'll have my panels labeled one, two, three, and four. They're 100 watts each. I got them off eBay. They're open box for analogy. I've had real good luck with them. So also, I want to show you something that I've done here, and this is very critical. If you'll notice right here is a lug. Let me get the finger up in here. And right there. That's the lug. I have that mounted to the spring nut that's holding it on the unistrut. Once I mount this to the roof, it'll be bonded. That's very important. I'll also be running ground wires from the panels to here. Then a ground wire, and the positive and the negative... With a number six SOW cord going inside my cabin going to the charge controller. I'm using SOW cord. It's rated for outside. It's rated for weather. And compared to the other cables, it's cheap. But I am going to cover it up with roof mastic tape. That'll keep the UV off of it even more. It cinches it down to the roof, and it's a cheap way to mount it. So also, I want to show you why I've come up with this. And the reason I'm doing it is because... It's mounted on Unistrut. All I have to do is pick it up, mount it right to the roof, and I'm done. Instead of fighting everything, all this is pre-made. I carry it up the ladder, pretty easy to do. Mount it to the roof, and voila, it's done. Like I said, this is the cheapest route i found to go. Another reason I'm doing this, and you'll see these connectors going in here, I can put the wire and go right here and connect up. I don't have to buy the MC4 solar connectors that are for cable. I don't need the crimp tool. I don't need the connectors. I don't have to worry about something going wrong. All I do have to do is get some wire strippers, strip it out, and land it down on those, bar, those bars you see there. Also, this is a plastic box, so I can drill straightly into this box and not worry about it arcing out. So all i got to do is cover it back up, and I'm done. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you hated it. Leave a nasty comment. Tell me how dumb this was. Love it. Have a good evening. Or morning. Or lunch.